The U.S. election is being closely watched throughout the Middle East as the fighting there rages on. Rocket attacks by Hezbollah from Lebanon killed seven people today in northern Israel. Tonight, CBS's Holly Williams speaks with Israelis about their take on the U.S. election. In the West Bank, many Israeli settlers who've built their communities on occupied Palestinian territory believe a second Trump presidency would be good for Israel. We have a nice university up at the end of the road. One of them is Tomer Marshall. The former administration had a much stronger bond between the U.S. and Israel. Right now, the bond is more questionable. It's not, it's not clear, you know, are you with us or are you with us up until a certain line? In a major shift in U.S. policy, the first Trump administration declared that Israeli settlements were not illegal under international law. And our alliance with the state of Israel has never, ever been stronger than it is today. With Israel now at war in Gaza and in Lebanon, and led by the most right-wing government in its modern history, a recent poll here found that 66% of Israelis would prefer Donald Trump to win the election. Only 17% prefer Kamala Harris. Does Donald Trump understand the Middle East, do you think? No. He's, he's a very transactional man. Alon Pincus is a former advisor to four Israeli foreign ministers who tried to negotiate peace with the Palestinians. He told us Trump's isolationist, America first approach is dangerous, making Kamala Harris a better choice. Her understanding of America's global responsibilities and commitment is different, uh, qualitatively different than that of Donald Trump. That doesn't mean he does, he's not a friend of Israel. It just means that in the longer run, I'd rather, as an Israeli, have her president. Despite months of diplomacy, the U.S. has so far been unable to broker a ceasefire and hostage deal to end the Israel-Hamas war. Donald Trump said in August that he told Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, to, quote, get this over with. Maurice. Holly Williams in Tel Aviv tonight. Thank you.